Well, welcome back to Andy's Reef and uh, quite a big update. I've made quite a few changes to the tank and um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, tell you what I've done. So you can see um, coil wires and that, I haven't really made any changes, I think the same. So what I have done is, first thing I've done, I'll just take this up here. I have refitted a dual internal filter and in the filter I've got, uh, in the bottom I've got um, some substrate from a guy called Ponguru on here um, and it's um, it's marine bio gravel so in the bottom half of the filter there's marine bio gravel and then in the top half um, there's a new product I've just bought yesterday Yeah, so there's a new product I bought yesterday and it's called Aquaforest Life Biofuel and it's a it's natural filtration media ready settled with nitrifying bacteria so um, I've added I think about 250 mil um, I think this is yeah this is 1200 mil um, so yeah I've added I need a small amount, I need to keep a close eye because it's supposed to, it should support um, nitrate reducing bacteria, I'm hoping, um, and it should help maybe with algae as well. So, but someone said just add a small amount, don't add too much in one go, um, otherwise you can strip too much out of the tank and then basically everything will just crash and die. So I've only added a small amount. I don't know if they'll pick up on this, but no the camera's not picking it up. Yeah, but basically I think this amount does something like 400 litres. So I've only added a small amount to the tank at the minute. Uh, it looks like that. So I've just put some in um, in a mesh bag and put about 250 ml in the tank. Uh, put that in yesterday. Um, still using um, the phosphate minus, which does a good job. Changed that yesterday as well. Uh, I've been monitoring um, phosphate levels and that. Been getting hair algae. That could be uh, obviously nutrients are a little bit high in this tank because I'm target feeding the scooter blenny. Uh, and also, when I did, I've added the new light. I added the fluval marine uh, free light. So that's probably another reason. And I was running it near a hundred percent so maybe that's another reason so yeah so yeah so it could be the uh the light causing a few issues as well obviously it's a new light so that could be why i'm getting hair algae but um done a water change on sunday i think it was um and pulled out most of the hair algae um and um i'm just taking a bit of, i've been watching youtube videos and on some tanks and that and um I wouldn't, I don't know, I tend to rush in and buy, sort of buy coals and stuff and just put them in and maybe hope for the best, whereas I've seen some really simple tank setups on YouTube um, and they look really, really nice. Um, so I'm just trying to take, slow down, take a step back and just rather than keep throwing corals and colours and things at it, just try and appreciate, sort of monitor what I've got in the tank and maybe try and just tweak it that and try and make it a bit better. Um, fish wise, there's 11 fish in here. Um, they're all doing fine. I see my old clownfish at the front there um, and the scooter blenny on the left. Um, I've got the little uh, uh, neon goby down the bottom in the middle. Um, and you see a little redhead goby, they hang out together. Try and zoom in if it will. Let me zoom in, don't know why. Don't what's going on with the camera, but it won't let me zoom in or out on this mode. Hmm. Okay, don't know what's happening there. Anyway, forget that. Yeah, so yeah, so there's 11 fish in total. The biggest fish in here are the two clownfish and probably my starry blenny. The uh, rest of the fish are quite small, so yeah, let's see starry blennies. Just sitting up there in the corner. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna 
slow down and just try and rather than keep adding I'm sorry it's unstable again rather than keep adding coils and stuff just slow down and try and monitor stuff a little bit more and uh, yeah just try and keep everything a little bit more stable and see how it goes so yeah what I've done today um the coral rise this side I say what I've done is the, got the Kenya trees here which they're fine which the little um, green clown goby or coral goby sits in um, got a recordia here the main record I've had for years quite big and there was a recordia here but due to the flow it's bowed out and gone down the back um, the uh, what was it the not called uh, what they called brain's gone he's called <laughs> a toastal coral toastal coral is doing really well as usual it was going a bit it's gone a little bit white around these edges but i'm not quite sure why but they seem to be getting better again um the hammerhead i did have down the front here but i say i've been looking at videos and that and like i said the hammerhead's green and i've got the green star polyps so having the hammerhead here and the green star it all sort of mingles into one so I've moved the hammerheads down the back here and you see that they're opening quite nicely so yeah hammerhead seems quite happy there so I'll leave that there for now and I've got the Gorgonians which I really like they're doing really well here um, yeah um, so yeah so I covered the right hand side then the left hand side say Gorgonians here move this over a little bit as they just get some algae in them get rid of some algae and just change slightly change I did try and make the acrostag a bit higher but I've got the two devil's hand finger coals which are obviously going to go up so I can't really probably better keep it low but that's the other thing rather than keep focusing keep um obsessed with changing and structures and aquascaping so rather than keep changing it rather look where I want to place the coals and put the rocks in position for the coral rather than keep changing the aquascape to what I like because at the end of the day you put coals on it anyway the fish have got loads of there's a swim through here and there's a swim through down down here and under here so there's all little caves and hideaways in here there's caves and hideaways all in here and they can swim through here so that's all okay so the fish have got loads of little hiding spots and stuff um green star polyps not doing too bad they're spreading nicely here um yeah and then the only uh oh yeah i've got another um gorgonian down here which is Lovely. Let's move the camera a minute so I'll just get a bit of Gorgonian here, which is really nice. And then I've got the got the um oh it's gone again clove polyps which I had just here. But this section is quite dark, so if I put that on it. This area is quite dark, I was about, and you couldn't really see them. So, again, rather than putting them up, moving about that, all I've done is I've just moved them across slightly to this section. Um, they've closed up a bit; they were open, lovely there. Just so you can see them a bit more, and you get the, the dark of them against the light of the Gorgonians. So, I'm hoping they'll settle in this spot, or I may even add a small piece of rock. Um, because it, these are on a, a coral frag so I could add a small piece of rock and, or drill a hole in a piece of rock and slot the coral frag into it um, flag, stop, slot the frag plug into it so I may even think about doing that but rather than keep doing stuff just moved it along slightly um, and I'll just monitor for a couple of weeks and see how they go the camera's not focusing as usual but yeah you can see uh, so yeah so that's all the coals in the tank and the fish um, the other big change I've made I've bought I've fitted I took I had the max spec jump gyre on here which was having a few issues with wasn't really getting good flow of it or getting good flow but changing settings on it and that um, it kept when you were changing the settings it stops and it was making a loud vibrating noise and a humming noise which used to stress the fish and every time I done it changed the setting on it it was doing it um, once it started moving, flowing again and uh, the rotor started turning it went quiet but for some reason when it stopped it was making a loud humming noise um, and it did sort of look a little bit of an eyesore in this tank so um, I did go back I did buy a 
uh, a couple of Jekod pubs pumps, um, the SW2 and no, S, yeah, SW2 and an SOW4, which they were doing a really nice job. But me, as I am, like to try out new options, so I've decided. Uh, oh, yeah, they've just come out. I bought the um, Nero 3, which has just come out. Tiny little Nero 3 and fitted that on the tank two days ago. And so far, it's given a really nice flow. Uh, and because, as you know, I didn't like the Nero 5, I found it a bit, it was getting on my nerves with the app and that. But the Nero 3, I've set it on about uh, maximum 45% and just put it on a random flow. So it goes from 15% to 45% random throughout the day um, and it gives a nice form it's like it doesn't take up show up too much in the tank it gives a really nice flow I mean calls and music um, moving about lovely to see call flows really nice um, yeah and then because I've done that I thought oh I was thinking of adding a second one to the other end of the tank and then I thought for now I've just put my Nero 5 back on the tank and you can see this thing's quite a beast compared to the Nero 3. So, so what I've done, I've set that on to random mode as well, but this is on, goes from 10% to 30% um, on um, random flow throughout the day. So I've got this one blowing across sort of the front here. And then we've got the little baby Nero 3 blowing more across, across the middle so they're just linking together so yeah so I've just got the Nero pumps on there I'm really pleased with them actually so I'm glad I tried them again but um, I might try the Nero 5 for a little while or I might just take the Nero 5 sell it and add another Nero 3 to the opposite end so but as you can tell from the flow in the tank everything seems nice random and I don't really need to touch anything there. As I say the Nero 3 goes from 15% to 45%. Um, it's on medium so it just changes gently through the day and then the Nero 5 goes from 10 to 10% to 30% randomly through the day because obviously it's a bigger pump. Um, and as you can see from the video coils are swaying moving about quite nicely. I may add um, an hour or two on to a constant flow and just run them both maybe at five ten percent just to give the tank a break for a couple of an hour or two um, I'm not sure about that yet so yeah apart from that yeah really pleasing so just taking a step back say so pumps have been changed new fluval light fluval filters um, uh, dual filters been added back to the tank doing a really good job cleaning the tank up as you can see most corals are quite happy uh, the only issue with a coral is the the um what's it called the devil's hand finger at the front of here this one as you know was just sulking over so what i done i pulled it off the piece of rock it was on and i found this larger piece of rock with a hole in the top and i've pushed it in the top and then put an elastic band around it i'm just going to leave it to, to hopefully set itself on that piece of rock um, and then I'll take the elastic band off and then maybe leave it where it is or maybe move it slightly so maybe it's a fraction higher um, but that's that's the only thing yet uh, and the only other thing I've been doing just again um, phosphate has been showing quite high but then I had it tested yesterday and it showed 0 0.03 but then if I'm getting algae in the tank it's probably giving me a false reading so they're probably I'm obviously getting obviously algae's built up over the last two weeks and it's done a water change so obviously there is phosphates in the water um, so it's probably not getting a correct reading to say that and nitrates are sky high at the minute around about 60 um, so I've still started dosing uh, nitrophos minus I do two meal a day um, and just going to monitor I've been doing this for probably getting on for maybe just over a week now so I'll do two meal a day um, and just see if that that should eventually help nitrates come down plus with the new product in the filter that should help as well the only issue I've got 
is I've had to keep turning it off because my protein skimming sealed this top is going crazy constantly. You see, I've had to turn it off again because it's just filling up with air bubbles and they're just coming out the top and it's constantly filling the tank with bubbles as well so I don't know whether it's because the filters on the tank when I do add the nitrofos minus the two mil skimmer goes crazy so yeah having a few issues with the skimmer at the minute but that could be because I made the changes to the tank um, yeah so that's all that and uh, that's about it really that's a major update on the tank so everything's quite happy all ticking along nicely so see you on the next one bye